Hello, welcome to tutorial number 17. Today we'll be uh, adding s another field to our ad additionals field, uh, additional tab, additional info tab. Let's just see. Here we have additional info tab that we've added the gender field. Uh, the first thing I want to do is actually change the tab position. I don't want it to show in this menu uh, because it basically means I will have to go two clicks to get that. So let's go and go to the tab management area and see that the additional info tab is actually in the nested tab menu. Let's make that tab menu. So we go additional info instead of nested tab tab menu save and close if I refresh now I will see I have the additional info here and there's basically a left arrow and a right arrow that appears to scroll the extra menu items that don't fit here okay that's pretty good for our case. Now, additional info is first. Let's switch that around. Bring this up one position. Contact info. Refresh. So contact info is again number one and additional info is number two. So what we're going to be doing here is creating a new birthday field. And uh, exploring the various configurations of the date field type. So let's go to the back end, community builder, field management. Let's add a new field. Let's call this birthday. And here, birth date. Please select your birthday and field type here date there's no reason to go date time so date let's keep it not required not read only of course uh, might as well keep it on the registration form keep it default as they are here so let's just do a quick save here and then go to the parameters area I want to put it in the additional info tab here. Okay, let's go to the parameters area and we see the layout. Let's just leave everything default to see what it looks like. The profile view display is date and it will show the full date in the user list display also. So let's just save this. Go to the front end and edit, edit this profile. Go to the additional tab and we see we have the birthday field right under the gender field. And I can go here and either select, see it's day, month, and year. Basically, it's taking this format, day, month, year, from our configuration, community builder configuration area where I've set the date format, day, month, year. Okay, if I set this, for example, to year, month, day, and save, and I go back and refresh this, basically, I will see it's year, month, day. Okay, another thing I want to look at here now in the uh, date birthday configuration here. Let's just search here. Birthday. Uh, the validation tab, see we have minimum year minus 110, maximum year plus 25. What does this mean? You can read the tooltips, but basically what this means is if I go here and click on the year, I will see that there's a huge list of years in the pop-up. Or I can actually see that here also. 
if I click on the year, I'm seeing um, 2014, and basically you will see I have 25 years after it, after 2014, and if I count here how many I have before, they should come up to 110. So that's what this 110 and 25 means here. But you can read the tooltips to understand more how this works. So let's just go to the front end and uh, select a birthday. 190, okay. How about that? November 4th, 1990. And I update. Additional field, there we go. 1990, 11.4. Let me go back and switch the configuration of the date in Community Builder again to make it day, month, year. How about this? A little more international. Okay. I'm not going to play with that anymore. Just refresh, see that it it now displays 04-11-1990. Okay, let's see what other settings I have now here uh, in, the, in the date field that I could use to actually adjust uh, what shows up here. The display is what I want. So if if I don't want to show the date, the full date, but I want to show the age here, I just click age, save, and if I go and refresh now here, I'll see that the additional info says birthday 24, it shows the years. That's cool, but birthday 24 doesn't really convey what this is. So let's go back. Profile view title and instead of showing birthday, let's just show something like this. Uh, username names age. And let's just save that. And if I go and refresh here, I will see instead of the birthday, I will see Fenya's age. Now, 24, I guess people can understand that it means years, but let's go a step further and go to the layout tab here and just do value years old. How's that? Save, refresh. And now we see Fenya's age, 24 years old. That's much better. Let's see what other settings we have here. Display, instead of age, I could say time ago. Let's just keep it like that. Let's re remove this, for example. We'll see what makes sense. <laughs> and remove the, the layout here. And let's see what the front end rendering gives us. Birthday 24 years ago. So basically, Fenya was born 24 years ago. Well, let's try to adjust that then. And let's say username was born. And let's just refresh here again. And we'll see Fenya was born 25, 24 years ago. It's very nice. So this way we can adjust exactly what we want to show on our profile for the date. What else do we have here? Time ago, we have time ago without ago. Let's, let's just click see what this means. Fenya was born 25 years. So some in some languages, uh, it doesn't make sense to say time ago. You might have a different wording or, or meaning, and you might have to play with language strings to make things work for you. But that's exactly what this does here. Other settings? Birthday. Let's see what this does. Let's go back here to the remove this. Save. 
and do a refresh additional info so it just gives us the birthday November 4th so if we don't want to show the actual age this is a nice way of just displaying the birthday on the profile page okay other settings here custom custom will let you actually customize how the state will appear so if I want year month day in this format let's just keep it like that see what happens remember we had changed the community builder configuration to day month year display for dates let's refresh and now we see that we can basically override that and make that year dash month dash day okay I think uh, this will get you started with date fields which you can use for birthdays for anniversaries for uh, any type of tracking age for for any any event and as you can see it's very easy to customize the actual title on the profile and you can use the layout to uh, override or add uh, prefixes or uh, suffixes to your display thanks for listening we'll talk again next tutorial bye bye